Welcome to It's The Dave Show. My name is Dave and today I'm here to talk to you about this 1000 watt LED street light. This thing is huge with tons of LEDs on it and it is solar powered which means you don't have to wire anything up. This is really cool. Now the company did send me this product for a review but they wanted me to show you what it is and how it works and I'm going to install it and we're going to test it out. So let's take a closer look at this solar LED street light. Okay, here's what you're going to get in the package. You are going to get an instruction manual, and it's very easy to install. I'm going to, I'm going to go over some of this stuff with you, and also uh, the uh, information about the remote control, because you do also get a remote control with it. Now, you do need your own batteries. This little piece pops out, and you've got some uh, two AAA batteries. Those are my own batteries, so you do need to provide your own batteries with the remote control. Okay, you're going to get this little pole that this thing sticks onto. Now, you can mount this up onto um, the side of your house or a fascia board or on a pole or anything like that. Uh, this is the other side of it. If you want to, if you mount it onto a pole or something uh, like that, you can mount this onto there. And it does come with a full set of, of screws and bolts and all kinds of stuff if you want to mount it into the house. There's uh, there's some, um, you know, some anchors and all that stuff. So you get a full bit of of um, uh, tool, you know, uh, uh, screws, and you do get an Allen wrench here too, which is also very nice uh, to have. They actually give you a little tool for that. Now you, you'll probably need a, a wrench, an adjustable wrench or a socket set or something like that to put that in. You do need to provide that yourself. Um, now the other bits that we get is, um, is this part here. Move this over a little bit. Uh, and this goes actually onto here because that's what this pole part goes into. So this goes into here to mount it. Um, I'm going to put all this stuff together and actually mount it again uh, for us so we can see what it is like. But then the unit itself, of course, you've got your um, your solar panels here. This is completely waterproof. And on the other side, we have an on-off button. So once you get this um, mounted, you do not have to do anything else. There's no wiring at all. You don't have to wire it. You don't have to, to, to gosh, am I going to turn it on? Am I going to turn it off? Well, this actually has a several features to it. It has an automatic sensor that will determine when the sun goes down, the lights will go on, and when the sun comes up, the lights will go off. So it's totally automated. And the other thing it has, it has a, a sensor part of it where it will, um, when it's on, it can dim, dim itself down to like a 30% rate so it's it's on but not on very bright and as soon as somebody walks underneath it it detects movement it detects a person and it pumps up to 100 percent so it's great for security um you know somebody walks by and the lights come on even further very very nice and then of course you have your remote control so you can control it see like this now wow it's, that's <laughs> that's bright um we can go to uh 75 percent 50 percent 25%. I don't know how well the um, camera picks this up because uh, the cameras adjust for the lights anyways, but um, you can do all kinds of crazy stuff. That's, that's bright. Let's just turn that off. On, on the remote control, you can see that on here. Um, that's There's the on-off button, 25%, 50 75 100%. If you hit the uh, the little like Wi-Fi signal kind of thing, that's a, that's the indicator for the um, uh, the motion, motion sensor type of thing. But then you can also have it um, go on for a certain amount of time. So two, three hours, uh, five, six, eight hours, however you want to like that, or it just turns on and off with the sun. Very nice, lots of different options for it. You saw how bright it was, super bright. So now my next step is to put this thing together, mount it on a pole that I have out in my backyard, and when it gets dark, we're gonna go and take a look at it. Okay, I have the light system set up in my backyard and it is off because I wanna show you what it's like. It's, it's getting pretty dark out. It's not completely dark, but getting pretty dark out. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on as you can see it here, and it is on 100%. Okay, so that here is 25%, and we're gonna go 50%. 75% and 100% so you can see the light on there. Now it's going to it's going to be hard to tell on the camera as such because it's at night and the camera kind of adjusts a little bit for the light as well, but it is bright. It's a 1000 watts and and it's super bright. Now you could put this up higher. This is as high as I got. It's about roof line here. Now this also is only about 8 feet up. They do recommend like 12 to 16 feet up to get a broader light area but my pole only goes this far so that's all i have here for a demo but if you and it's super bright it is really really bright so if you're looking for a a good bright led light for outdoors a street light patio basketball court any of that kind of stuff uh then this one may be the right one for you